I think Lee's coming, but he's got the wrong date in the dock, so I'm not entirely sure. He put February 21st, and, like, I mean, we'll see. Hey Lee, thanks for uh, sending over the document. I'll try to fill it in by this week in the latest and send it back to you, okay? Nice. Yeah, thank you, Michael. I'm hoping it's mostly a copy and paste. Yeah, it, it should be. The, there's one caveat. There's some users that are using Contour that are not willing to speak about it publicly. We may have to figure out, you know, either you guys will trust us that when we say leading financial institution, they're using it, or we might have to set up some private meeting for them to disclose that to you. Uh, yeah. Ingress is one of those things that people are trying to guard fairly, uh, uh, keep it close to the vest in terms of them not communicating they're using it. So we have at least five of the such customers are not willing to speak publicly. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember a conversation with Ross Kugolinski about a year ago, probably. He'd mentioned a three letter acronym. Uh, Japanese centric uh, organization that was maybe that was in context of gimbal but but yeah he uh, for my part I'm convinced <laughs> yeah that, that, that was gimbal the one in Japan oh I see okay but, but still contour underneath so sure. yeah nice well I'm hopeful that we'll have uh, Watson who was on the call last week or last Last time we met on today's call. By the way, since we haven't started yet, I have a quick question for Matt, uh, Klein, and Amy. So when we basically pushed Contour for donation, we had three sponsors, Alexis, Matt, and Joe Beda. And we started the process. It's, you know, we did the TOC presentation, and now it's in SIG review. Are we going to be forced to go back and find new sponsors now that the other folks are no longer in the CNCF? I, mean, I, I, I wouldn't say forced, but we will definitely work to be able to find you new sponsors. We will? So we have yes, to go find need, you? Okay. We, we will need to have different sponsors because they're no longer on the TOC. Okay. Yeah, we should, we should start that process. Um, yeah. It's obviously unfortunate that this happened during the turnover. But um, I, I suspect that we won't have too many issues finding other sponsors. Matt, yeah. would it be possible for you to uh, send a note to the private TOC emailing list and see? I mean, I, we don't need to be privy to that and see if anybody's willing to sponsor yeah. Contour. Yeah, let me uh, make I would actually wait that. until we get through the, um, uh, the assessment here, simply because it's just easy to be able to point towards here. The assessment is done here, like go, go forward, um, simply because with TOC and Sandbox, we don't need to be able to bring it to a vote. This is for donation. I thought Sandbox was a done deal if we wanted it. Sorry, this is for incubation. I thought Sandbox was a done ah, deal if we wanted it. So incubation would require a vote. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what that's why I'm that's why I'm I'm thinking. So yeah, for Sandbox, I thought it was a done deal if we wanted it, and we said let's go for incubation. For for Sandbox, that's where you need those three TOC sponsors. Yeah, but we had them at that point, and we said let's not go for Sandbox, let's go for incubation. So I, I thought Sandbox, if we wanted it, we could have had it back in January. Okay, we can take this one offline. Um, yeah, yeah. I know we've got uh, other things to be able to cover today. No problem. Very good. Okay. Um, well, another short call, I, I suspect, uh, which is probably good. I think so. The other project that's under review or yeah, up for proposal currently is Service Mesh Interface (SMI). Uh, I believe we are in context of Sig Network. I believe we're we're done there. I think we, uh, for those that were on the on the call when they proposed, we um, did the uh, gave them the commensurate um, question you know, uh, questions and facilitated kind of point, pointing over to a PR. Um, the same due diligence template isn't necessary for SMI as they're kind of refactoring to come in at, at a sandbox level. Um, and as such, I think that the, the most important criteria there is um, TOC, spon TOC member sponsorship. So 
the, the link to the PR is in the meeting minutes and on the PR, I believe, um, so we've got Matt as a, as a, you know, a, a volunteered sponsor, I believe uh, Jeff Brewer as a second. And so Jeff continues, Jeff is with, with all of the TOC change up, Jeff is still on the TOC. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is two, and then I think the third and fourth were. I'm not sure if they're open question marks in terms of, um, in terms of Michelle and Brandon right. being, uh, coming from the, the. Well, I don't know. Or in in terms of those who are coming from Microsoft, kind of the, the the parent company of the project, if you will. I don't know. I don't know that there's a. Yeah, I think we can review that later. What I am looking for in this particular PR is um, a link over to the review from this particular group. Right. Uh, so, Amy, that's a good, I'm, ed educate me if you would. We didn't produce, a set, other than the meeting minutes and kind of the, the questions that were asked on the call, we didn't produce a separate doc. Um, yeah, let's review that um, simply because we should we, we should definitely have something to be able to point to. I can point you towards what um, app delivery has just done for Volcano, if that would help. Oh, uh, yeah. Here, I'll just put it into the doc. Give me a second to be able to do so. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, yeah, we might have a short meeting today. Oh, okay, and then after, as you're retrieving that, Amy, then the, the, the third topic today uh, I was hopeful for, and I was a little bit late getting to Watson on this, or w, w. Watson, who had <clears throat> raised up this question um, uh, earlier this week, I think, about uh, cloudnativeprinciples.org, uh, which and I think his suggestion was, was uh, when, when, uh, when we had had the deep dive at this last KubeCon about SIG Network, um, he was in the audience and had asked, uh, inquired about whether or not there was interest in adopting um, such things, these cloud native principles. I had been aware of some authoring of some, some such definitions. Um, and I think in the time that we'd had a deep dive and now there's a cloudnativeprinciples.org, which is hyperlinked in the meeting minutes. Um, between this, cloudnativeprinciples.org and the proposal for patterns and architecture that we spoke of last time we met. I'm one looking to have a conversation, I suppose, you know, Matt, maybe with, with Liz or with the, the TOC at, at large about the uh, proposals for patterns and architecture that we spoke of a couple of weeks ago, that those are service mesh centric in nature, which is fine. There's a, there's a lot to go through in there, but I think the way in which it's couched is that it would be much broader for all cloud native architecture and patterns, which, which I don't know is that any, any particular working group could chew through that. That seems pretty gnarly. Um, yeah, I mean, from a from a practical perspective, it seems like we would be better served by being focused. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so, so then, these patterns would not apply to pub subsystems. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, I think that we can expand it out to. To, to do what makes sense. I, I, I think um, doing something around patterns that cover both PubSub as well as RPC makes sense to me. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Uh, and Ed, since, since you're on the call and, and occasionally interact with, I think, you know, some of the same folks who've authored the cloud native networking principles or cloud native principles, do you have any context that you could share about the definition of the I can I can I can make a few guesses that I just came across this website when I looked at um, the the agenda today so I, I'm still digesting it although but but effectively I think part of what it is is we're also used to living in a cloud native world that we sort of very it's very easy to lose sight of the degree to which this is a giant mental shift for most folks and 
particularly, I think these guys are trying to figure out how to articulate that cloud native is not just, um, you know, OpenStack with containers to the broader uh, networking world that lives below L7. Um, and, and I think that's an articulation that would be helpful for a lot of people because not, we're all at different places in our, our journey of having wrapped our heads around this space. Yeah, I agree. And then, so my understanding of the, the cloud native principles is, is that this, the genesis of it was, or it seems to be within the TUG, the telecom user group. Uh, it, it seems to have a lot of those folks, and but they seem to be dry, drawing from some of the concepts from the TOC's cloud native definition. So things like you know loosely coupled, immutable infrastructure. Right. Um, those are some of the aspects in the TOC's definition of cloud native, um, and and they're they're generally in motherhood and apple pie. But how do you sort of project those down into a different domain is an interesting question. Yeah, and I know that yeah on this particular on this set of this paper this these topics I know. Dan Kahn has, I think, helped facilitate the, um, some of this work. So just another, rant, another touch point. Um, this is also somewhat random and happenstance that uh, the individual that raised up th this question, um, W. Watson, who was on last, the, the call that we had had a couple of weeks ago, I think Ed, he'll actually be at uh, tonight's meetup in Austin. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so, I, I, I know Watson, he's a very thoughtful guy. Yeah. Um, so, you know, he, 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 he thinks deep thoughts about things and then he comes back and you realize he's thought even deeper thoughts about the thing. Um, so, uh, all right, so then, uh, th so this is very well aligned with the Charter of SIG Network and so is the proposal from Paul Bauer about um, uh, also cloud native networking centric things. Um, either of the two of which or both of which uh, seem like good topics of discussion for this group. They seem like, uh, seems like there, there could be some, um, I don't know, recast, some, some casting or some characterization of one versus the next and helping one of, helping each of them lean into slightly different verticals, if you will, or slightly different layers, maybe is the other way of putting it. And, and asking, maybe see, seeking out whether or not there's a desire to um, collate these, coalesce these into. Uh, that, 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 that would certainly be, I mean, if, if, if coalescing is, is possible, that's certainly lovely. Um, you know, it's one of these things where I, I've routinely said, in not, not so much in this venue, but other venues, that um, mindless divergence is bad. But if you actually are dealing with problem spaces that are different enough that the solutions need to be expressed differently, then th that's perfectly fine. But you kind of figure that out by talking to each other. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, so Matt, if if you unless you have different thoughts here, I think, I think that the thing that I'm trying to do is is gain a an audience with uh, Liz, who's been involved in the other suggestions around uh, patterns and I forget what it's called, but the but the, the ones that we were talking about earlier from Paul Bauer um, and sure. and to. To, to come to understand whether or not she had had an appetite. It sounded like she had had an appetite for that effort to be not just on um, cloud native networking, but cloud native, the, the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, yeah, I mean, why don't we talk to Liz? Um, I'm gonna be honest in saying that I, I don't really have any experience producing these types of white papers. So I'm not really sure what people are looking for. Um, and, and the right process by which we will find resources to, to, to go and do it. From a project management perspective, like I said before, I, I would rather see us start small and targeted and do something that covers, like we we're saying before, RPC and PubSub and maybe Service Mesh, um, you know, and, and not block on some giant thing, uh, but happy to chat with Liz first. Yeah, it makes. Yeah, I totally agree that uh, hey, that there there is a need to cross the giant thing, but that that would need to be its own sig, and then with many sub working groups, I would think that because because that would just be a 
um, there was at one point, um, Dan Kahn was uh, hosting a CNCF reference architecture discussion, I think every couple of weeks to once a month. And part of that was a reflection and refinement of the CNCF landscape and just solicitation of um, opinions from you know, those, that, those that would attend. Uh, but, but that was just for purposes of trying to categorize icons into a landscape and not, not for purpose of writing, you know, writing practices and principles across you know, all of cloud native infrastructure. So. I mean, I, I, I very much like the notion of breaking the world into small pieces. I think trying to boil the whole world is, um, in addition to being relatively futile, almost guaranteed to produce a radically suboptimal outcome. Yeah. Um, the, the, the one thing I would say that we might be helpful is to have enough interaction um, with folks to help. Because I'm, I'm also with you, Matt. I'm very much on team. I don't even, I don't read white papers. I don't write them. Um, I, I don't even viscerally understand them personally, but I understand they're important to people. And so I'm supportive of the fact that they're support, they're helpful to people. You just, you just spoke my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the one thing I have been able to find over time that is helpful um, that I can do for the white paper people is not so much the read the white paper doc review because I'm terrible at that, but that just periodically having conversations um, can be helpful. Um, particularly, as I said, with people at different levels of their journey through this process. Yeah. I did just for what, yeah, I suspect that neither of the two of you put much stock into Gartner or Forrester or 451 reports either. I love talking to them. They're fantastic people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, but I don't, I don't read things that I don't, I, I, I understand that white papers are very important for people. I understand academic papers are very important for other people. Neither of them. Um, are subjectively important to me, but that doesn't mean they're not important. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, actually, I th just since we're talking about this, I think that there is, e just even to the extent that, um, that they normalize nomenclature so, so that we can, conversations can be hastened and facilitated through common use of uh, a word or descriptor is helpful. Um, I did post into a chat and into the meeting minutes an example of the work that we had done within the serverless working group uh, and the production of a white paper there. There was a, a parallel or corollary serverless sub landscape or a sub landscape for serverless that was kind of part and parcel to the creation of this white paper as well. And so just as a, something to reference in terms of like what, what that might look like when it comes out. Mm -hmm. And Colin, I, yeah, the, I vehemently agree with, with Matt in terms of PubSub being inclusive to that and, and also being um, refre uh, refreshingly um, specific vertical to, to actually gain traction on, get, get something down on. And, and um, so anyway, I, I'm trying, trying to, yeah. Just, just to, uh discuss that a bit further like what what vert can you give me an example of what vertical that would be are you talking about technology stack are you talking about uh market technology stack uh -huh. or um uh yep uh, sorry i was just trying trying to say that uh not basically being in opposition of trying to form a, a cloud native principles and architecture a white paper or set of white papers overarchingly, but rather just saying, hey, let's choose something small, get some traction. Oh, sure, sure. All right, uh, good. So I, I don't necessarily have a, a proposal here other than just to circle the wagon with, uh, or circle the wagons, I guess, with um, uh, both uh, Watson, I guess, this evening, and then um, hopefully Liz um, shortly. Uh, to get a sense of the appetite that each of those groups have, and then hopefully begin to facilitate uh, something here. If you want a deadline, not that you needed one, um, but our next TOC meeting is Tuesday, March 3rd. Yeah. That's, that's kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like deadlines? Deadlines are fine. Come on. Um, no, this means that you can actually have like, you know, something to be able to put for the next SIG update around um, SIG network for that particular call. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. 
Hey, hey Lee, would you would you happen to have a, a reference or anything of sort of what level you'd be looking at as patterns and example or something? Because I can certainly try to take a stab at one. Yeah, the the uh, probably the the best reference is within the the you know the, within the meeting minutes, and, and I pasted in the uh, chat the Zoom chat is the CNCF uh, serverless white paper. But kind of a definition of terms, definition of the space. Genesis and sort of purpose for that set of, that, that, those set of technologies to come forth. Well, there's a little bit of reading here, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is thorough. This is good. And then, so very good. So, Amy, I see your link about um, uh, the uh, proposal template for SMI. To yes. To yes. Look at that one. Don't look at the graduation one. The graduation one will make you a little crazy. Um, but I think the volcano one is probably going to be a little better for you. Sure. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're, we might be about at the end of topics. Um, uh, since we're a small group, I figured uh, I'd say um, hi to Naveen. Uh, and Naveen, I, I don't know if, you, if you're inclined to uh, in introduce or say hi, please do. Sure. Hey, Lee, thanks for that. Um, so my name is Naveen. I work for a telco software provider. I moved from, <laughs> so a lot of what you guys are talking about is kind of relevant to me but I'm also new to the telco world. I came from the enterprise because they're trying to do containers. Uh, I work for a company called Mavenir, which is a very small, Ericsson, if you think about it. And I hear a lot of things in the tug and uh, I figured I'll hop on and see what you guys talk about here. So I think it's kind of relevant, but it's a little bit new for me, uh, at least from a telco world. Um, so just listening right now. Thanks for <laughs> asking me to at least introduce myself, Lee. No, oh, yeah, oh, this is great. Uh, um, and actually, to the extent that to the extent that if you end up spending any time looking through the cloud native, is it cloud native principles.org, that if uh, any amount of reflection or opinion that you might express there as, uh, as to the benefit of that document okay. would, be, yeah, would be of interest. Uh, Just, Naveen, are you on the CNCF Slack at all? I am. I just joined a couple days ago. Yeah, ping, ping me. I'll, put, I'll introduce you to a bunch of folks in that area. Okay. Thanks, Ed. Perfect. Okay. Very good. And then I think you, the other another item that I didn't put on here was um, I put in a request for um, a similar deep dive on SIG network in at KubeCon. And so I think we're we're. Be, Going onto the schedule there. Does, uh, does anyone else have topics for today? And I hope you like pizza because that's what we're having at tonight's meetup. So that's fine. I'll I'll be doing my I'll do we I'll spend most of my time doing a little soft shoe. So. <laughs> um, and then uh, Colin, I guess the kind of the same same call for reflection um, from your perspective after you get a, a sense of the topics that are touched on within the serverless white paper. Uh, as you go to reflect on how that might look like in a uh, from a pub sub perspective. Yeah. Yeah, I could take a look. Um, you know, I, I, the first pass certainly wouldn't be to the extent that they, they've done that there. But, um, you know, it, it's you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it would be good to begin to produce some, some artifacts within the SIG. Yeah, happy to do it. Nice. All right. Uh, Matt, others, anything that we missed today? I don't think so. Do we, uh, one other item that, that just came to mind was, 
there is a couple of other groups that, that we want to intentionally liaise with that for my part, I've done a bad job of um, requesting them to come and kind of give an update on activities within their, those groups. Um, I think yeah, UDP, UDPA is, is one of those. I think the TUG is another one of those. Um, but it would be, yeah, it'd be nice. I think it's just kind of, it would be nice to get a general, um, here's, here's what that, that group is up to, here's how, and to do some exploratory, exploration of whether or not there's collaboration to be done. Nice, okay. Uh, we'll meet in a couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll have, hopefully we'll have some, some progress on both, both of the projects that are up for review and, uh, and maybe some traction on initial white paper. All right, fair enough. Thanks. See Thanks you much. all on the fifth. Yeah. Bye all. All right. Bye everyone.